Hey guys, King Casey here. Welcome back to another Fortnite gameplay. The first one part of season eight weeks. Sorry that I did miss two Monday. This is gonna be Monday's video, which I'll be uploading to on Tuesday. So I hope you guys go on to enjoy this video. It's gonna be about catch, pretty much where you can only use grenades. So make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to see all of our future videos. And I will see you guys in the gameplay. All right, so this gameplay is going to be on catch. A mode that you can only use grenades and it is very crazy. All the grenades from Fortnite are in this. And I just wanted to say if the audio Right. So yeah, anyways, let's get on to this game. So I'm going to be dropping on Salty Springs. Now this game mode is only in squads, so that means we're going to be playing in squads. So I'm going to just be dropping down here, and one of my more favorite drops in Salty Springs is the Far House, but this time I decided to go Far Mountain. And I mashed the land. I didn't know how much loot you got until I saw all the clingers they got. And then the Zenith picked up some clingers and actually tried to hit me. So I just jumped down and decided to run away by using by just falling. Now I'm going to start to gather up some mats and throw my impulse grenade over to where this fighting's going on. And I try to use my my um, clingers effectively, but I didn't manage to use them effectively. Now I am being chased or having my grenades thrown at me. As yeah, this gr this mode gets crazy. You will see that in the later gameplays. So yeah, I'm just trying to run. I match a hit hidden impulse, managing to get pretty far away, and I start to move in toward the main town. And I use up the last of my impulses. I land on the roof, and I just see a lot of grenades going off. Everything's just going off. I hear clingers going off. I'm in the middle of smoke, so I don't know where to run. Yeah, and and I get hit with a boogie bomb also. And just saying sorry if you guys hear any background noise during this gameplay, but okay, moving on. So then one of my teammates gets knocked here, so I'm running in to help. I throw a clinger, but I miss, and my first teammate well, dies. So, um... Yeah. So, um, yeah, now I'm having a person charge at me. I throw my clinger shot, but I miss it because I suck at grenades. Another one of my teammates went down, but I managed to hit that one, and she goes down. And, and I finish her off by using a clinger, but now I'm starting to get smoke grenades. I try to go under the, the truck by using the old truck trick, but... There wasn't enough room there, and my wings were too big. But then, I get in more smoke grenades, and I just run away since pretty much my t all my team is knocked out, and I get stuck. I don't know how that got stuck. That was really off my character there, but I'm not going to complain. Let's just move on. So yeah, now I'm having my more clingers thrown on me, and I don't know where to go since one shot and I'm dead. Since if you don't get shields at the start of the, of the of the game, you are pretty much dead. So I try to throw another clinger at Lynx, but it misses. And I hear C4, so I decide to run in the other direction and hopefully not get killed. And I manage to find some shockwaves, a launch pad, some some gliders. And I immediately shockwave over to my teammate and use my gliders to get it over there. And right now, my teammate is kind of weak right now. And I immediately shockwave away as soon as I land by them. And this is actually the death of my last teammate. So now it's only me. Now, for a duration of this um, game, for, the, for a little bit here, um... For the duration, I'm going to be sitting in a tree, so I'm going to take this time to actually talk. So, um, yeah, there will be two videos out tonight. This one I'm hoping to get out by, like, 7-ish, I think. And then the second one will be out later tonight, like, at 11. But it will be able to still get out. And, yeah, and 
if the audio does cut out, I'm gonna try to get the voiceover through the whole thing, but if it doesn't, um, I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, there's really nothing I can do about that. My mic just sucks. So yeah, now I'm just sitting in the tree, waiting for something to happen. But it's gonna be a minute before something actually happens. My The team is just over there doing stuff that I really don't know what they're doing. So I'm just si sitting here again. And then I decide I'm thinking about throwing shockwaves right now. But yeah, and if you don't know, this is voiceovered. So yeah, I already know what happens during these games. But I decide to land at the back and just watch. So then a lot of people get it into a battle. I throw down a clinger um, on the knock person and they die, but I don't get the kill since they were already knocked. So I pick up some impulse grenades. I also go for some stink bombs, but I miss them while I'm trying to run away. And I see this person on a drift board, so I'm just come in, get some C4, and impulse away. So this is actually my first encounter with the drift board item since I didn't try out the, the uh, drift no TM yet. So now I'm going to do one of the oldest tricks in the book with C4. Just place them down by loot and blow them up. Since C4 has been gone for such a long time, people actually forget that that is still possible. So I just sit in this bush. For, for a minute, waiting for somebody to pick up all that juicy loot. And just give them a minute. Someone that is very anxious will come along and get it. Hear that? Here comes a guy on, on the drift board. Actually, two of them. He stops to get loot and I'm dead. So I actually get some de a decent amount of health from that. So I actually get on a drift board and start to, to run away. Now, I had no idea how these things actually worked. So, I'm just looking on the left side to see all, all the controls. And they're, they're actually pretty simple vehicles, unlike the ATKs, the planes, and the quad crashers. There's only a couple controls with them, since you can only boost and jump with them. So yeah, I honestly think that they're pretty good vehicles, and I'm happy that, that they'll be staying in to Season 8, but we don't know for how long. Please, that they stay perm permanently. But, um, yeah, so now I'm just driving around. I'm gonna go, I go back to the loop that I saw, and there's another guy who is dancing, and there's a, there's a Durburger girl. And while I'm running away over here, this girl is actually trying to kill me, so I just start... I'm g going away on my drift board. Look at this girl. She's just trying to kill me with her C4, but I'm just flying around and just hanging out. So then, now that the circle is actually moving in, I have to move. So, yeah, after I try to pick up some loot, but I, I almost get killed by that C4, so I am just out. And so now I'm going to be heading down toward fatal fields in hopes of getting uh, some more grenades since I am running out of clingers. And I really should organize my, my inventory while I'm doing this, but yeah, so I see somebody right there and me decides to organize inventory now. So I start organizing and it's pretty organized. So I get right into the firefight, into the hoverboard, and I immediately get stuck. So. That is how game one ends. I'll see you guys in game number two. All right, game two time. So as you can see, the video is about halfway through now. And obviously, you know, one game at least takes up half, half of the video. And for the question of the day, um, I wanted to ask, what was your favorite part about season seven? Because I'm making my Season 7 send-off to tomorrow. And I want to see what your guys' was favorite part about Season 7. I know it was a pretty controversial season, but I liked it. I thought it was a good season. But anyways, back on track. This game is going to be a 10-minute game. Full squad. Going hot loot lake drop. Now, I'm starting to look to where to go. And I actually have a new spot 
for when I land at Loot Lake. Since I really don't like landing in the middle, since you you can't really get that well, there's no mats there, and it's an open gunfire. I like to land at this little island here. It can contain a chest, which can get you some decent loot. You can actually get another floor loot on the ground, and there's actually a lot of mats here, so it's a good place to start off. And then I use some bottle rockets, which I really never use these things, but I just love them. How they get so intense with firefights, and then I almost get stuck. One of my teammates goes down. Yeah, and then more um, bottle rockets are coming in from somewhere. I get hit again, and they're coming from the opposite direction. Don't worry, I come back for that chest. I pick up the launch pad, go back, pick up the chest, get some clingers some more boogie bombs and um yeah so even though one of my teammates died he really didn't play a big part in this game overall we're gonna be sticking around for a while <clears throat> huh. so now i am running into the fray to help my other teammates i get i miss the barbecue chest but i throw in some more bottle rockets and just and start lighting up the other team but more smoke bombs are coming in, so I just had to throw some a boogie bomb. I hit him, and uh, but he but someone throws out a smoke grenade, so I can't get off my clinger. One of my teammates goes flying over with a chill grenade, and then I get hit with a stink grenade, and I miss my clinger shot. But this is when I decide to retaliate by using my own stink bomb and actually get some decent damage on him. So yeah, then we decide to to fall back. I pick up the launch pad again and get some some gliders. My teammate's trying to use shockwave grenades but ends up really failing at trying to use them. Storm is moving in now and yeah this game just gets really intense here. Yeah one of my teammates goes flying with the chiller grenades again. So yeah I yeah I think that chiller grenades in the main game are actually pretty good because you can use them as a mobility item. Which, you know, we don't really have any of those anymore. And then, we get into another firefight. I managed to hit pretty good damage off with the stink bombs. I throw another clinger, but he builds so that his building takes the hit. And right now, we're just falling back. I start throwing clingers at him, and... And I knock him. But I almost get hit by that clinger. And yeah, things are just getting really intense at this point. There's about half the people left in the match that we started with. And looking around, we I'm gonna about to finish off my teammate, but I didn't see that before, but there's another guy. So we start to back up. We get the kill right there. And we just start, he uses C4 as his close range weapon. I start unloading my clingers. And we're just all throwing. One of my teammates gets stuck. I don't know how, but that one of our teammates gets knocked. I am unloading, and he goes down. Thank God. So now I'm just using my revive, getting up my teammate. Our other teammate drops a med kit for him, which is very nice of him. And now I pick up some clingers, get some C4. And I think I have a pretty good arsenal of weapons currently. I'm thinking about picking up the impulse grenades, but he actually swaps them out. And we need to get moving. So I decided to build up since I have enough mats. And um, I'm going to use a launch pad to, to get far away and go to the truck stop. So yeah, we're going to the truck stop now. And we land, we, we, I swap out some clingers for some dynamite, and I build up to the chest and hopefully get something good. Yes, shockwaves, a rift to go, and we are being attacked from the, so from the mountain. I throw my shockwave grenade around. I didn't know where they were coming from at first. They were actually coming from the mountain top um, right behind me currently. So, yeah, we're just looking around, trying to figure out where they are. And, um, yeah, they were just being ambushed again. And he actually uses a rift to go, which is actually pretty smart. And I am currently running away, but then uh, we realize that there's this bush guy trying to build a sky base, and he jumps off. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was stupid. So we both of us jumped down. He tried to do the launch pad maneuver. It almost worked, but then I we whip out our ladder read a boy and we're attacked again! No big surprise, so I know where this guy's coming from now. One of our teammates got knocked again. I'm going over to help him, since I want to make sure that all of our teammates at least try and be kept up. So I'm reviving the same guy that fell down again. And we're just defending our squad as we're, as we're making it through the endgame. And I see the last guy up there, so then we start to run in and he gets stuck immediately. And he tries to run away, but we actually try to look around for him. So now we head down here. And, um, uh, yeah. So we pick up some remote explosives. And I didn't know what this, um, noise was. I think it was the earthquake event, but I really had, had no clue. I pick up a lot more C4, because I want C4, but... We heal about the quick campfire, but... The storm is coming, and the circle is all the way at the snow biome, so I get moving immediately, but the tree is in the way, so I try to break the tree, but it's not going fast enough, so I'm just trying to use my angel pickaxe. My teammate helps, and I just start booking it up, using all the mats I can. I, I build up, get the launch pad, and jump off, and we make a successful maneuver from the storm again. And as you can see, the storm is around the new snow bomb, which is pretty much where I'm going to be covering in the season send-off. So, um, uh, yeah. So now someone's actually landing on us. We didn't know where. They actually landed a bit farther up, so I try and throw a shockwave at them, but I just end up going pretty far back. So we... Our team had actually got a hoverboard, and we just start in a massive firefight in Zeus. I try and get him with the C4, but that ends up failing. So, and he actually runs away, and none of us actually get knocked during that conflict, but he managed to get away. And we need to start running. So, I'm following my teammate. I use, I go up a bit higher to get off the glider redeploy. And we managed to get to about the same place. We are just running. Little did I know that I had a shockwave grenade here that I could have used easily. And then I hear somebody landing. There's a peep, there's a person up there, and now this is gonna be one of the biggest skirmishes of the episode. So we're in the storm, we're trying to run, I'm making it, I, my goal right now is to get into circle and then I'll attack the foe. I don't know where they are just yet, but then we get into the circle barely. And we see him up there. So then a big firefight ensues. And one of our teammates already goes down. We're just being ambushed. They go, they die. So I actually back out for, for a minute and try and regain the position. And little did I know that he actually needed help. So I get back in, in the fight and I just chuck as much C4 as I have. Blowing up the teammate, oh actually not, but I just chug a lossy four and hit it off and I get him. But my teammate died in the close fire. Or in the debris. So now it's only me, 15 people left in the snow biome. This was going to be a hard round. So then, I'm trying to contemplate what to pick up. I take some boogie bombs just in case, and I start moving. Sadly, all of my team is dead right now, so I don't have any backup to fall back on, so pretty much all my resources are what I have. Sorry for that jump cut right there. I hit 10 minutes, so I had to redo this, but okay. So now I'm moving into circle. I see a back glider all the way over there, but I'm just moving as I normally do. And I'm about to get into circle. And the final name location is in fact Happy Hamlet. So now I'm gonna start to move into the to the cabin, but I hear a driftboard. So I just decide to get down and hide, and I actually managed to avoid him from being attacked. So then I start to move in. And I 
actually drop the boogie bombs for some mini shields which are gonna be a big help if I get stuck I can heal up get back to 150 and then I hear a team gliding in I try and get down but I don't know if they see me I whip out the C4 and did they see me they did so now I get stuck with a clinger I just immediately throw down the launch pad and get it out of there so now I've already taken damage and I land by the supply drop here but of course with all of these I drink up some minis and I couldn't get it off in time this cuddle team leader comes at me I try to, to, to defend but I get but I didn't get stuck I'm trying to defend but I get killed by the finger so okay guys I hope you enjoyed this episode I hope you guys like subscribe hit the bell to see all my future videos and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys